Harry Lake's statement fiercely criticizes the media, which she denounces as fake news. She accuses them of lying about various issues, including Joe Biden's health and other political matters. Actually, actually, wait a minute. I don't mean that. I don't welcome everybody in this meeting, you, in this room. The guys up in the fake news, frankly. All right, frankly, um, you guys up there in the fake news have worn out your welcome, right? You've worn it out, guys. You have spent the last eight years lying about President Donald Trump and his, and his amazing patriotic supporters. Actually, guys, they lie about everything. They've lied about Joe Biden's health, the economy, the laptop, the border. I could go on and on and on. But the really good news is that every day more and more people are turning off the fake news. And, they're, and Americans are waking up to the truth about the disastrous Democrat policies pushed by Joe Biden and his favorite congressman, my opponent, Ruben Gallego. Many people feel that the mainstream media is biased against conservatives failing to report fairly on their issues and figures. Carrie Lake's allegations against Donald Trump and his supporters over the past eight years echo the conservative belief that the media has an agenda to discredit and undermine conservative leaders and their policies. Her praise for Donald Trump reflects a deep admiration for his approach to politics and governance. To many, Trump is seen as a leader who battles against entrenched regimes and media bias championing policies they believe benefit the country. Criticisms from Joe Biden and Carrie Lake about Democratic policies reflect conservative concerns over how the current administration handles issues like the economy, border security, and personal freedom. There is a widespread belief among the public that Democratic policies have harmful consequences for the nation.